gas gang yes we are back with another epic video on the blue devil the donor car the 3.2 litre quattro audi a3 guys today we are running zero to 60s quarter miles and even a cheeky 100 to 200 guys this is going to be epic i think hopefully hopefully don't break stay tuned for this one and let's get it welcome to officially gas Hey yo, but before we get into today's video, guys, I just wanna give a massive shout out to everyone who's joined up to the Gas Gang so far, and also a massive shout out to RE Performance and their insane giveaway from our last Fortnightly's giveaway. But this week, guys, I'm here to talk about what Birch Performance are doing. And if you don't know about Birch Performance, they basically specialize in additives, race fuels, fire safety sticks, and oils. Basically, they have done a madness. In fact, last week, they gave away a five liter container of Miller's oil every single day to someone in the gas gang and on top of that they're giving away a fire safety stick every single Friday from now in fact from last week until April and guys because you're not part of the gas gang you probably didn't hear but we already hooked up our first micro event and it sold out straight away yes guys we're going go-karting and it's gonna be absolutely lit but you know what that's the warm-up because this Sunday you're gonna hear about our first proper event and once again like i always tell you it's only five pound 49 think about it that's a couple of costa coffees that's a big mac meal guys instead you could be getting some of the craziest discounts exclusive to the gas gang from some of the best automotive companies around the uk and we've got so many of them signed up you need to check it out and see what we can do for you and on top of that guys we link up on discord every single week and speak live we're talking about link ups we're talking about fortnightly crazy giveaways five pound 49 guys i don't want to tell you again make sure you look at the links check the links out in the description and join the gas gang guys let's get back to the video so yes guys as the intro said today we are down at the og battlegrounds and we've actually just finished recording two epic og battles and i thought why not bring the blue devil up to run some times on this car because it's worth making a little bit of content on this car before we completely rip the heart of it out and yeah uh leave it as a, a shell why not run a zero to 60 a quarter mile and 100 to 200 to see what a stock version of an audi a3 3.2 quattro does um in all those tests i guess guys if you don't already know this car is only here or i only have this in my ownership to eventually take the engine out of it and the gearbox and put it into my cupra we're going to forge it we're going to turbo it basically the aim is 1000 brake horsepower that's actually four times what this car runs currently we actually had this on a dyno already and it made 260 brake horsepower can you believe this has done 97,000 miles and it's gained 13 brake horsepower over the years or thereabouts it was a perfect day for perfect dyno conditions so maybe it was a little bit positive if that makes sense but anyway it's making good power so this will be a, tr a pretty like true to life test of what you know a full power one of these um stock can actually do it's all a little bit of fun not taking it too seriously the main objective is to not blow the engine up you know because then it's completely pointless um launching this car obviously it's four wheel drive i have no clue what tires are on it probably a load of different ones spicy spec as you can see blue on blue blue on blue crime blueberry muffin double denim whatever you want to call it um it's all fun and games also guys we'll be using the vbox performance box touch from race logic to do all our measuring today also we sell them on the gas gang website the best rrp in the world so check it out and uh yeah i think that's pretty much everything fingers crossed she does not blow up place your bets and let's go <laughs> So we're going to do a couple of zero to 60s first. Um, apparently they quote, and by the way, this is a manual if you don't already know that. And on the manual, they quote a zero to 60 of 6.5 seconds. 
So let's see if I can get that or maybe even beat it. Let's see. So place your bets right now. I'll give you a few revs. VR6 power. Okay, feeling it. All right, place your bets. Come on! Oh, red line. 6.45! Hey! And I fluffed the gear change, and that was a terrible start. I reckon I can do a lot better than that. I reckon I can uh, knock at least two temps off that. Let's line her up and go again. All right, so second time lucky. The red line comes up on you real quick in this car. Uh, traction is off. Uh, it's a Haldex system, so it sends a lot of power to the front until it senses slip, then sends it to the back. So we do get a little bit of wheel spin, but anyway, let's see what we can do. Good. Come on, that was good. Yes! <laughs> oh my god! 5.64! 5.64 and they quote 6.5. Who was driving it when they found out it only does 6.5? Wasn't me. That's who. 5.64. Change that. Ch change it to the official time. These do it in 5.64. Now. I'm actually content with that. I'm actually content with that. I, I really don't actually even care what times this car gets today. But a 5.64 is strong. That is strong. Tell me what you expect in that. I wasn't. All right, guys, the pressure is on. The Blue Devil is purring away. Makes over the claim power. It's faster than the claim zero to 60. I have no clue what these are meant to do quarter mile. But we're about to find out. Wish me luck. All right. Oh, not a great start. Okay! Go to 60. Oh, red line, a little bit. Come on! Come on! 14.23! That is not bad at all. That is not bad at all. 14.23, that's actually better than I thought it would be. And that actually had, because I'm measuring 0 to 60 with it anyway, that was a 5.81 0 to 60. So it just goes to show, I wasn't actually like just lucky on that launch. We can actually get sub sixes um, more than once. So a 14.23, I'm going to run that one more time because I reckon I can beat that. My start was whack and also my gear change. So um, I'm saying I might even be able to get this into the 13s. This car is actually all right. All right, guys. Wherever you're watching this, we need complete silence. This is serious. We want to get this into the 13s. Wish me luck. All right. Come on! Come on! Oh, I hit the red line there. <laughs> so close! So close! A 14.06. I feel if I didn't touch the red line, I think it was in third. That could have been a 13 second run. I don't know why I'm indicating. Um, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there. Who knows? It's got. A th I think it's got a 13 in it. It's definitely got a 13 in it. A high 13. 13.99999 or something. But um, yeah, we're gonna leave it there. Let's, um, the car hasn't exploded. Let's, let's not push it too much. Um, 100 to 200 time now. Place your bets. I, I, I'm gonna say 15 seconds, 100 to 200. Let's go. All right, guys, it's that time. Now, 100 to 200s ain't really my thing, but I'm just gonna send it and see. Tell the truth, I don't really care what I get. So uh, not too much pressure on this one, I guess. Um, so place your bets. I'm staying way, oh, I'm starting way back at the beginning of the runway because I'm not sure how long it's going to take to hit uh, 200. So uh, let's see what is going to be the best gear. All right, we just go from here, third gear. All right, let's go. All right. Oh God, this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Oh my god, I think we're gonna run out of runway. Come on, 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 come on. Oh my god, I'm not 
doing that again. 18.82 seconds. <laughs> I have never braked so late on this runway before. Woo, we still did have a little bit of time, but that was like kind of just going into the unknown. 18.82 seconds. To put some context onto that, for people who don't know a lot about 100 to 200 kilometer runs, my Cupra manual is the fastest Cupra manual in the world, Mark III, and it runs 5.8500 to 200. So <laughs> that's how much quicker my Cupra is than this car. So it just goes to show how, how slow this car is, I guess. It, it's, it's quick to 60, I feel, but then after that, it kind of just drops off. Should I do one more? What's the worst that can happen? I'm not gonna lie, that is very, very scary. Staying on the throttle for like 18 seconds. All right, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it one more time. Right, guys, best believe I'm starting right at the bottom of this runway this time. I have no clue what this car's gonna do. Who knows? And I just remembered to put, put some more context on it. My BMW 335D, which has 370 brake horsepower, does a 12.8, 100 to 200, I believe. So there you go. Right, let's get into it. I'm just gonna accelerate into it, angry. That's a hundred. Let's go. Oh, terrible gear change. All right, we're off. Uh, this is where it gets very scary. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Hey, yes, that was even worse. I think 18.89. So yeah. It's a clear 18 second, 100 to 200 car. I'm not sure that's ranking very high in the uh, in terms of fastest uh, A3.2 litre engines, uh, or VR6 3.2 litre engines. But anyway, regardless, for science sake, now we know. So, not that we're gonna do anything more with this car, car's engine, sorry. Do you know what I might do? I might straight pipe it just for the fun of it, just so we can make a cool video on that, straight piping it and uh, go for a little uh, drive. Who knows? But regardless, um, now we know. Bit of a pointless exercise, but you know, it's worth testing for science sake, I guess. Um, this engine is gonna be coming out, fully forged, big turbo, 1000 brake horsepower, in a Seat Leon Mark III Cupra. So guys, there we have it. A zero to 60 that was quite impressive to tell the truth of a 5.7, was it? I might be wrong. And a quarter mile of 14.2, which I, I don't think was that bad actually to tell the truth. Just 100 to 200 is terrible. 18.89. Uh, um, this car has got, it, it, it pulls quite well until let's say 100. And then after that, it's just kind of, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite slow building. Uh, some pointless results there, I guess, because, uh, yeah, they don't really matter much. So, um, yeah, guys, I think we'll end the video here. But if you have enjoyed today's video, just remember this is only some fun and games until we get into the nitty gritty, which will be very soon now, of actually transplanting this 3.2 litre VR6 engine into my Seat Leon Cupra. So, um, yeah, guys, as always, if you've enjoyed today's video, smash that subscribe button and, um, yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Peace out.